Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a pumpkin tower using fall colors. I'm going to come right about here in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a big curved line out, down, and around. Come back to the dot, big curved line out, down, around, and connect. Come back to your dot and we're going to draw curved lines down once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Some of you might have more lines, some of you might have less. I come inside each space and I draw baby circles. And again, some of you might have more than others because we all draw differently. Keep going, fill in your spaces all the way down. Now, once you've completed drawing all these baby circles, we're ready for the next part of the tower. Come back up, put a dot in the center. You're going to draw a curved line out, down, connect on the left. Come back to the dot, curve line out, down, connect on the right. Come back to the dot. Now we're going to draw doubles curve line. So that's one, two. Come back to the dot. One, two. Come back to the dot. One, two. Come back to the dot. One, two. Okay? Now come all the way back up to the tippy top. Draw a dot. We're going to draw a curve line out down, connect on the left, come back to the dot, curve line out, down, connect on the right. Starting at the dot again, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line and draw it again. Wavy, wavy, wavy line. Back to the dot. Wavy, wavy, wavy line. Wavy, wavy, wavy line. One more. Wavy, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Come right back up to the top. We're going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, curve line down, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this pumpkin tower is very interesting because it shows you that using a different combination of colors changes the essence of what you're drawing. So the first one that I did was with Halloween colors. This one I'm going to use fall colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is color all of my baby circles orange. And that is going to be the bottom and the very tippy top. I come up and I color my wavy wavy line stripes. I'm going to color these orange also. Then I come back and I'm going to color around all of these orange circles with my brown. Now I tried other fall color combinations these are the ones I thought worked best on this project. However, if you want to try some other color combinations, go for it. Because who knows what's going to work. So I used brown on the major part of the bottom. Take your time going around all those circles. I tell everybody if your hand hurts, you're coloring way too hard, take a rest because this looks really super once it's all done. Okay, so you're going to color the bottom one with the brown all the way around. Then I came up and I colored my stripes on the middle 
tower part space. I colored this brown and then I came up and I color, colored next to my wavy wavy lines I colored this all brown. So basically it's brown and orange, brown and orange, brown and orange. Then I looked at it and I thought you know this looks kind of boring. So I came in and on the very top I did my pop of green but I also came to the center and I did my stripes green also. Now that striping would be the part that maybe you could use a different color. I used green. I tried yellow. I thought this worked best. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my pumpkin tower all colored in using fall colors. This would be a good comparison with the Halloween colors just to show how changing a couple of different colors changes the whole look of the project. Okay, bye bye.